product manager at Jiro Snow, and we're in the living room of our home base in Jiro at Park City, and we just want to let you know that we miss you terribly. We're really looking forward to getting into the stores and hanging out with you. For now, we're going to give you some little tidbits to help you get through the early part of the season. Thanks so much for uh, taking the time to discuss with us some of the new and great product that's coming out with Jiro. I know we're all really excited to try the new Grid and Envy. Can you tell us a little bit about how you guys got here um, and more about the helmet? Yeah, really, really excited where we landed with the Grid and Envy. This is a model that was born in the backcountry. It started a few years ago when we went to the Arcteryx uh, Backcountry uh, Academy in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Uh, we noticed going out with some of the guys there that a lot of them weren't wearing helmets and of course we had to ask why and what they needed and what we were missing. Uh, so spending a few days with them in the backcountry and really understanding what their what their needs were, we uh, developed this helmet and again, uh, a model that's really born in the backcountry. Uh, it's a great model for, for on mountain, side country, backcountry and it really starts with probably its most noticeable feature when you pick it up is just the weight of it. It's the lightest weight helmet in our entire line, so we wanted to have something that was easily packable. Wear it in your pack, wear it as you're uh, boot packing up, skinning up. Uh, so again, it starts with weight, and then we immediately went to the liner to make sure this was more comfortable. Uh, it's a single piece liner, so depending on uh, the weather and the temperature, it's easily removable. Uh, single piece, something you can put in your coat, pan pocket, pack it up. Uh, we also have some uh, additional remover, uh, removable uh, uh, lining pads on the inside as well. Again, uh, several options on how you can fit this helmet. Uh, and then going back to the fit system where you have a forward and aft uh, adjustability. So depending on if you're wearing a balaclava, depending long hair, short hair, whatever it is, lots of uh, lots of features and, uh, and ways to adjust the fit of your helmet. Um, it's a Polar Tech power grid lining. So again, it's antibacterial, antimicrobial, and it dries really quick. So. Uh, you know, build up some heat on the uh, on the ascents, and uh, it's a really nice feature to have. It's quick drying again. Uh, we also have the uh, stackable adjustable bedding too. It gets a little balmy in Jackson Hole, so I wanted to make sure that uh, we could keep the heat in when you need it and uh, get the venting going when you don't. Um, another really cool part about this helmet that's uh, pretty wild is this is out of all of our helmets, we're actually able to uh, uh, score, essentially measure. How much heat the helmet keeps in and how much it disperses so this actually keeps the most heat in when the vents are shut and it actually disperses heat the fastest out of all of our models when the vents are open so again uh, this is one of my personal favorites born in the backcountry great for uh great for hiking uh great for the descent as well great for on mountain but just an all-around great ooh, great piece losing some bats but that's the grid and envy Thank you guys so much. We're really excited for all of you guys to get either into the grid for our unisex or the envy for our women warriors out there. One thing that's so great about Jiro is that they really do care about women's specific product and our specific needs on mountain. So what you'll notice with Jiro specific product is that we think about things that women tend to really want, whether it's really nicely designed uh, women's features or of course for comfort and warmth. One thing that is always on all of our women's helmets is our fuzzy inner fleece lining. This lining has also been scotch guarded so that if you are wearing a tinted moisturizer or tinted sunscreen and you get some of that residual at the end of the day or even at lunch, you can easily take a wet washcloth or wet paper towel and wipe that down and that will quickly come off. The next thing that we do is whenever there's an exposed fit system, we make sure that that has a satin fabric on top of it to make sure that there's no tangling or excess hair breakage. So continuing on with comfort and warmth, what we've also done is all of our women's goggles, uh, we also have added a fuzzy face fleece on the inner foam of the goggle to add for warmth. Again, we've scotch guarded this material so that if there is any excess makeup or sunscreen, you can easily wipe that down at the end of the day with a wet washcloth. 
Lastly, the things that a lot of us worry about is making sure that we aren't looking so mundane on the hill. So it's important to us to have some color and make sure that we're really aligning our helmets and goggles together. A lot of times women can have narrower faces and so it's important that we have a perfect seal to keep us warm. So we can always make sure that every helmet and goggle that Jiro produces for women locks in together depending on the size of our face. If a woman has a smaller face, you can step down to say the Lucy, which looks wonderful with each one of our helmets. If a woman is looking for maybe a little bit larger of a lens, the contact is a wonderful option for those women because it is a bit narrower on the face and gives that really nice hug for those cold winter days. So we have Zach again, and Zach, we really, there's so many things that make Jiro unique and special. And one of the things, of course, is our helmet technology. So can you go into a little bit more about what makes us so special and what we do to put uh, our pride into our helmets? Absolutely. Um, I think one of the most important things is safety, and for us that all starts in the uh, dome on the Scotts Valley, California. It's our uh, testing lab where we test uh, tons of helmets, both snow, bike, uh, on mountain road helmets, you name it, it, it kind of starts there. Um, and then from that safety aspect, it's just, you know, I think one of the most important things is the fit of the helmet. So once the helmet's essentially safe, how do we make it fit and ride and perform better? And so one thing that is always at the forefront nowadays in technology is MIPS. So one thing to make sure that all of you know is that MIPS stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System. But we haven't just used the MIPS liner, have we? No, it's something we always want to uh, innovate and continue to develop. And what you're seeing now in some of our new, newer models like the uh, Great Envy is uh, MIPS spherical. Uh, I think for me, it, it allows to have a much lower profile on the helmet and just from a design language, that's what we really like to achieve in the, in the look of the helmet. Uh, but it also allows for uh, more airflow just with the ball and socket construction, uh, the, two, uh, the two EPS liners that we have in there. Uh, so again, it, it really improves the fit and gives you that better performance with, uh, with the airflow when you need it. Uh, and also gives us that lower profile and better design. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. I think we're all really excited, particularly because when you do put uh, the grid and envy on, or of course the Emerge, it's really nice to feel that liner next to your head instead of having that barrier with the uh, plastic mix liner. So thanks for much, so much for diving more into that. Um, next is talking about, we need a switch uh, from ecstatic liners into polar tech. Yeah, I think most of you might be familiar with Polar Tech and they have it in some of your base layers or quarter zips or, or hoodies right now. So it's a great performing fabric. Uh, I think for most of our helmets, depending on um, where and when you're riding, you really like that, uh, that quick drying uh, capability of the liner, at least for me anyway. I uh, also like that it's antibacterial and antimicrobial as well. So it gives you that uh, kind of extra layer of protection and then you know, after a long day or a big hike, uh, you have that quick drying feature of the fabric as well. It's really nice. Yeah, that's super nice. Another thing um, is that our fit systems are unique to us. Can you kind of go into the two different ways our uh, fit systems work? Yeah, I think fit is one of the most perform uh, one of one of the most important features of our helmets. Really getting that correct fit. And everyone's head's a little different. Uh, longer hair, shorter hair, whatever it is, you've got uh, several different areas of where you can actually adjust the fit system within the helmet. So um, you can do it forward and aft, um, obviously with the, uh, with the dial to secure it a little bit more, uh, but also uh, just the way the helmet would sit on your head, you have that, that little bit of a feature to adjust the fit system and really dial in the fit what's best for you and, and how you like to wear your helmet. That's great. Another thing that we can touch in on to the thing that we do special for women is all of our liners have a fuzzy liner just to add a little bit of warmth on those chilly winter days. So thanks for much, so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you out on the slopes. Another thing at Giro that we really care about is making sure that we get all of our young skiers out on the mountain warm and safely. 
So we have a couple of different options in our kids helmets. The biggest thing is to make sure that the helmet fits on the day that the parent buys it. It's important to make sure that a parent doesn't ask if their child can grow into the helmet because if you've spent any time around children, if they're uncomfortable, your day is over. So really try to make sure that you can encourage a parent to buy the helmet that fits today so that tomorrow's ski day isn't a hassle. One thing that we offer in all of our kids' helmets is our fit systems. So that does help with years of growth. You can adjust for uh, the larger changing head and also just during the day when you're taking off layers for their kids when they start getting hot, you can go ahead and cinch it down if you've taken off a thick balaclava. So we have two different types of helmets for kids. We have what we would call an in-molded helmet and then a hard shell helmet. To simplify it, what we think of is that a hard shell helmet is really great for durability and it's also great after a child has reached probably over four years old. Anything under that, we want to make sure that the lightweight story is the most important because of their little necks. So a hard shell helmet also gives us affordability. So what's great about our crew helmet is that we make this in a MIPS option and also a non-MIPS option for those parents that are on budget constraints. The other thing that's great about the crew helmet is that it is approved for multi-sports. So if you have parents on a budget, they can easily use this for bike or skate during the summer season. All of our kids' helmets have that wonderful fuzzy fleece liner and our fit system, and then also have a great overall look to keep them looking cool with all of their other young skier or snowboard friends. Our sizing comes in extra small and small in our launch helmet. And really what we try to think about is that the extra small is really for a generalizing of 16 months to probably four years old. Now you're gonna have some kids that are going to exceed that. My daughter uh, was in an extra small launch until she was seven. So you really never know, it's important to try those things on. In the crew, this goes from extra small all the way up into a medium. And just so you know, that medium is actually bumps into an adult small. So we really do cover all ranges of sizes for the juniors and make sure that we don't lapse at all. Thank you so much for joining us today and all of us here at Jiro, Zach, Waylon, Colin, and Ibrook, and of course, the known. I want to thank you for all of your continued support with Jiro, and we'll see you on the slopes pretty soon.